Capuchin Friars Brandon Bergen, Vince Carrasso, and San Antonio, Texas have taken up dancing during the quarantine. We, we thought it would be a cool idea to just reach out to the to the folks, uh, give them a little joy, a little smile. We're not able to be with each other physically, so social medium has really filled this gap for us of, of being able to relate to each other. The Capuchin sense of humor was also seen in the past with the Mannequin Challenge. Now the two friars play music and have their own podcast, The Brotherhood. They consider it one of their ministries to explain their vocation, especially to youth. In fact, youth ministry and watching his father's conversion helped solidify the faith for Brother Vince, planting missionary seeds in his heart. I feel like my vocation uh, can speak to the youth in a way that's powerful for them, hopefully lead them to God and hopefully help them to discover uh, freedom, you know, discover who they are, discover that, you know, it's okay to, to follow Francis in the habit or it's okay to be a, a disciple of Christ. Brother Brandon, on the other hand, heard his vocation loud and clear before deciding to pursue it. I prayed in front of a statue of Mary. I prayed the Memorare prayer. And in that moment of, of authentic prayer from my heart for genuine guidance from God, I heard the words, be a priest. After much prayer and discernment over which type of priest he should be, Brother Brandon felt called to be a Franciscan friar. Now both in their vocation, they hope their stories and lives will help lead people closer to Christ. It could be in the form of a dance, a song, or through the ordinary conversations on their podcast, The Brotherhood. But they hope to spread the gospel to the world, all the way from Texas.